Hello and welcome to Aussie Rush. I am back with another tutorial for you, and today I am going to show you how to paint your favorite character on a mug. This is a collaboration with Sandra from Crafty Sandra, and our theme is Pokemon. Sandra made a Tokyo Be inspired t shirt that is so freaking adorable, and make sure to check her video out on how she made the design on a t shirt, which you can use to make your own favorite characters. I have her video and channel's link in the description box. Below, so check that out. Now, let's begin with this coffee mug. I used this porcelain mug that I got from Target, where you can get one at a Dollar Tree store for just a dollar. Before painting, I like to sketch out the character with a pencil or a lead pencil first so that I won't mess up with the painting parts. If you mess up as you sketch, you can easily wipe away the lead with your finger or fingers. You don't need an eraser for that. After you are happy with the sketch, you can start mixing colors of the special porcelain paint that will stay on permanently. Yeah, so it, the paint will not come off if you wash it or microwave it and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. I have the link to the specific paint set in the description box below if you want to get the same one that I'm using. I have mixed blue, red, and white to get this purple ish color. The first layer of paint is thin, so it will appear transparent. You will have to apply 2 to 3 coats to make it opaque. If the paint is a bit thick to the brush, you can add a little bit of water, but not too much. One thing I noticed about this paint is that it dries pretty fast. It's faster than acrylic paint. It feels weird at first. When the paint dries, it has a very glossy finish. It looks pretty. I like shiny stuff. So for now, you can just keep applying the colors that you need for your character. So I apply for like yellow, brown, and stuff like that. And if the color seems a bit off, you can just paint over it like I did because I did find the purple is a bit too light. I use nail art brushes since they are super thin and it's great to use on this painting part on the mug. You can find nail brushes on Amazon for a really cheap price, so it's a great deal. If you made a mistake on painting, you can use Exato knife to scrape away the paint. It's super easy to clean up the mistakes. After you are happy and done with the painting part, you will have to bake the mug in order for it to be permanent. And you can either bake at your home oven or other ovens. I'm using my regular convection oven for Palmer clay. The package says bake at 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 150 Celsius for 35 minutes. After the mug is done baking, make sure to leave it in the oven to cool before taking it out because it's pretty hot and you don't want the mug to cool down too fast. It can't crack. After the mug is baked, you can feel the paint is super intact with the porcelain. Yeah, it's very hard to scrape the paint off. Alright, so this is all the process. I'm painting a character on a mug permanently. And yeah, this paint can be used on glass too. Don't forget to check Sandra's Togepi's t-shirt tutorial and subscribe to her for more DIYs. She has a wide range of tutorials on different themes and materials, so definitely check her channel out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!